You probably think your phone is safe, a password, face ID, maybe even a VPN. What else could a hacker possibly do? But here's the truth. They don't need your password. They don't need you to click anything. In some cases, they don't even need you to touch your phone. Your camera, microphone, and messages could already be compromised, and you wouldn't have a clue. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how hackers spy on phones, the techniques they use, and most importantly, how you can stop them before it's too late. But here's the thing. What I can show you on YouTube is just the surface level. If you really want to understand how these attacks work, how spyware gets deployed, how exploits unfold in real time, how a simple vulnerability turns into a full-scale breach, you have to go deeper. The problem. I can't show you everything here. YouTube has its limits. The real methods, the advanced payloads, the kind of exploits that actually work in the wild, those get taken down. And I'm not here to give you watered-down, censored content. If you want the raw, unfiltered side of ethical hacking, the stuff that doesn't make it to YouTube, you know where to find it. First link in the description. Most people believe that getting hacked means clicking on a sketchy link or downloading some weird app. If you avoid those, you're good, right? Mm. Not exactly. Hackers don't always need you to click on anything. In fact, some of the most dangerous spyware in the world can infect your phone without you ever touching a thing. Take Pegasus spyware, for example. Governments and cyber criminals have used it to hack into phones with a single missed call. No answering, no clicking, just receiving a call, and boom. Your device is compromised, and that's not even the worst part. Once inside, it has full control over your camera, microphone, messages, and even encrypted apps like WhatsApp and Signal. But let's break it down further. How do hackers actually spy on phones? One of the easiest ways is through malicious apps and fake updates. Ever downloaded a simple flashlight or weather app? Well, back in 2019, a flashlight app with millions of downloads was caught secretly stealing user data, tracking locations, recording calls, and even listening through the microphone. It looked completely normal. And it's not just shady apps. Hackers also use fake update notifications. You're browsing, and suddenly a pop-up appears saying, your phone is at risk, update now. You tap it, thinking it's a security patch, but in reality, you just installed malware that gives an attacker complete access to your device. These fake updates are so convincing that even tech-savvy people fall for them. Another common method is public Wi-Fi attacks, also known as man-in-the-middle attacks. Picture this. You're at a coffee shop, and you see a network called Starbucks Free Wi-Fi. You connect because, well, it's free Wi-Fi. But here's the thing. What if a hacker set up that network? The moment you join, everything you do, your passwords, your messages, your emails, can be intercepted in real time. And it's not just about stealing your login credentials. If a hacker is running a packet sniffer, they can see which apps you're using, what sites you visit, and even inject malware into your browsing session without you realizing it. And then there's social engineering, one of the oldest and most effective hacking methods out there. Hackers don't always need to break into your phone using fancy exploits. Sometimes they just trick you into giving them access. Ever gotten an email saying, your Netflix account is locked? Click here to verify. You panic, click the link, and log in, except that page wasn't Netflix. It was a fake login page controlled by a hacker, and now they have your password. The same thing happens with SMS phishing, like those your package is delayed messages, with a tracking link that installs spyware on your phone the moment you tap it. If you've ever received a call from someone claiming to be your bank, asking for verification details, there's a good chance it was a scam designed to get enough information to reset your accounts. And then we have the scariest kind of spyware, the kind that governments and high-profile hackers use. Pegasus, for example, doesn't need you to install anything. It can infect your device through a simple iMessage exploit, completely bypassing security protections. And once it's in, it can silently record everything. Your calls, your messages, your camera feed, without you ever seeing a single sign that anything is wrong. Even big names like Jeff Bezos have fallen victim to this type of hacking proving that no one is truly safe. So if you're looking to go beyond the basics, go to Cyberflows Academy. See you there. Have a wonderful day.